made by D. H. Lawrence. This has been taken from his anthology, Birds, Beasts and Flowers. This is a poem with a difference. Instead of just talking about the landscapes, the flowers, the trees, he talks about snake. So first I'm going to take up the summary of this poem, a very simple summary of the poem. It is the hot month of July in Italy, in Sicily. The poet is staying in the Mediterranean region and there's an Etna smoking means it's very hot, the volcano is smoking. And on this hot afternoon, the poet felt thirsty. He took his pitcher and went to the water trough to have water. As he reaches there, he sees that there is a visitor ahead of him. That is a snake who has come from the bounds of the earth. Maybe he was also feeling very hot. And he had come there as a guest to his place, to his garden to have water. The poet felt honoured. He felt that he is a visitor and he should be honoured. So he decides to wait for the snake to quench his thirst. And he felt very honoured for the snake to have come to his place. The snake looks at him, feels him as no threat, drinks his water to his fill and start moving to his fissure. Now the snake is moving towards his fissure and there's some loss in the mind of poet because his education, what he has learnt had told him that this golden bound snake is venomous and should be killed. But his heart told him that he is not threatening to him and he is not a threat to him so he should not be killed. But as his back of the snake is turned, he feels no threat from the snake. He, that manliness in him comes back and he takes a log of wood and clumsily throws at the snake. The log misses the snake but snake feels a threat and clumsily rithers back to his hole. Now the poet feels a regret. He feels like a coward. Why did he hit him? He feels like that sailor in the rhyme of ancient mariner who instinctively had taken the bow and arrow and killed the albatross. He regrets, he wants the snake to come back so he can atone his deed.